Is it just me, or when you get home from a trip and you know that you need to unpack and take care of your gear, but you're tired, so instead your pack just gets shoved in a closet somewhere to deal with it later, and before you know it, a day goes by, and then two, and then a week, and by the time you actually get around to unpacking your gear, well, that's what we're talking about today. Three bad habits that are destroying your gear. And the first one is blowing up your air mattress with your mouth. Look, I do it, you do it, we all do it. And it's not the worst thing you can do, but what it does do is it introduces moisture into your sleeping pad and that moisture can turn into mold like it recently did for me. And I realized it's probably years of always inflating my pad with my breath. Not only can this introduce mold, but it can also leave you lightheaded and it can even reduce the insulating power of your sleeping pad. So if you wanna keep all these things from happening, then use a pump sack or a battery powered pump to inflate your sleeping pad but no matter how you inflate your pad it's impossible to keep all the moisture out best thing to do is to hang your pad upside down to dry with a valve open to help the moisture exit the pad but what if it's too late what if you already have mold growing inside your pad like I do well the best thing to do is to lay it in direct sun this will warm up the inside of your pad like a greenhouse and it should kill the mold it won't remove it but it shouldn't keep growing either what piece of your gear takes the most abuse and gets the least love? Well, if you're anything like me, it's your boots or your shoes. Your boots are made to take a beating, but they can't do it forever. And all that mud and dirt that gets caked on them can eventually work its way into the material and weaken the boot. To keep your boots going strong, you need to clean them every once in a while, but be careful because regular soaps and detergents can actually do more harm than good. So be sure to use a mild soap that's safe for your shoes, like this cheap boot cleaning kit that I picked up on Amazon. And if your boots smell bad like mine do, then what you really need to do is check out Shoe Fresh, who is sponsoring this week's video. Now, Shoe Fresh is supposed to eliminate odors up to three months. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna treat one of my boots with Shoe Fresh, and then I'm gonna leave the other one untreated. Then I'm going to hike in it all day and see how they smell at the end. So. Let's see how well it does. Okay, so we spent all day yesterday hiking to our campsite this morning, and usually by this time, my feet smell really bad. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to smell the untreated boot first, see how it smells. <laughs> I think I took a little bit too much of a whiff of that one. And now for the treated boot, see if it's any better. It is better, but I wouldn't say that it's odorless. So I don't know, maybe it needs to be treated after the fact instead of before the fact like I just did. So we just got back to the car and I was switching out my boots to some more comfortable shoes and immediately when I took out my boot, I caught a whiff of my feet and oh God, did they smell bad. So I thought, oh, I need to check on Shoe Fresh. And so I took a whiff <laughs> of this boot. I need to stop doing that and it smelled horrible. And while the Shoe Fresh treated boot is not completely odorless, it is a whole lot better. So I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna treat it one more time, let it sit for overnight, about eight hours, and I'm gonna smell them again. So let's see what happens. So I got home from my trip late last night and I coated both my boots with a fresh layer of Shoe Fresh. And when you know it this morning, I smell nothing. So if you've got smelly boots, then check out Shoe Fresh. It lasts up to three months, it doesn't mask the smell, in fact, it's completely odorless, and it doesn't affect your feet. So check them out at shoefresh.com or by following the link in the description. So the very first backpacking tent that I ever owned was a North Face Tadpole 23. And the first time that I ever took it out, it rained like it tends to do in the mountains. I packed it up wet, I stuck it in my gear closet, and I forgot about it. And the next time I got it out, I was authentically surprised to see mold growing all over the rain fly. And I was even a little scared to sleep in it after that because I didn't know what breathing in all that mold was gonna do to me. Here is the most expensive tent that I've ever owned and I ruined it my first night out. So learn from my mistakes and always dry out your tent and your rainfly as soon as you get home. And in a similar way, don't leave your sleeping bag in its stuff sack too long. Leaving your sleeping bag compressed can destroy its insulation. So keep it lasting a long time by storing it uncompressed in a large cotton or mesh sack. So there you have it, three bad habits that can destroy 
destroy your expensive backpacking gear. And I'm sure you know of a few too, so leave them in the comments below or check out what others have to say. If you found value in this video, please hit that like button. And if you want to support me in the videos I'm putting out, then the easiest way to do that is to simply subscribe. Or if you want to go one step further, you can buy one of my awesome Take a Seat shirts from mylifeoutdoors.com slash store. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at mylifeoutdoors. And as always, thanks for watching.